Many years of salt water intrusion has salted the land to where it won't grow anything. And you can see behind you that there are some areas where you can actually see ball, ball ground. And that's what salt water does. Well, you're on Taylor's Island, and we're almost in the center of Taylor's Island. In my lifetime, which is 94 years now, the sea level has come up at least a foot, maybe 18 inches. As I can tell that by the land that we can't till it anymore. We are at the east end of our, our farm in, in Madison. Uh, Madison Bay, the mouth of Madison Bay is directly across the highway right there at the firehouse. And uh, so this is the area that I, I was telling you that we're seeing more and more frequent flooding. And all together down here on Taylor's Island, we have about 850 acres now. And a lot of it's timber, a lot of it's flooded now with uh, marsh grass and dying trees. Uh, years ago, this might flood once a year, once every other year. It, this has been underwater three times this year already. And um, I don't know that it's going to change any. We, we don't really have the I guess the, the facilities to keep the salt water out. Corn doesn't do very well, and soybeans don't do very well. Why is that? The salt, salt uh, contaminated the soil. Well, we're looking at a very, very sorry soybean crop. Well, back in Isabel, when we had this 19 inches high in here, about 80% of this farm was covered with salt water. And once it is salted, it takes at least five or six years for it to return. And we've had some tides since then have encroached on the edges of some of the fields. And it's moved the form, forming land back considerably because a lot of it we can't form anymore. So, you know, as these, these soils take up more salt you see that it gets it gets lighter on the surface um, some farmers try to uh, counteract that by, by putting gypsum on the field uh, but it takes it takes years really to recover and unfortunately we're getting the salt back on it year after year now